solving problems, man. So, came in this morning, water all over the floor, but we're in manufacturing and things happen and you just have to take care of business, all right? So, uh, it was like the one day, the one day that I came in a little bit late, meaning 30 minutes late, and as I was driving in this morning, my guys called me up and they're like, hey, Titan, we just got inside. There's water everywhere in the building. And uh, basically the whole floor is underwater. And I was like, okay, like <laughs> give me the particulars right now. Let's go through the building. Had them while I was like driving to work. As I was driving, first thing I was thinking was like the plugs in the ground, the offices, Good news is it's all concrete, right? With heavy machinery. So I wasn't tripping that hard, right? We only have a couple offices that have carpet. We have some uh, tile and laminate and different things. So I definitely wasn't freaking out, right? You gotta be cool under pressure when these things happen, all right? So um, told the guys to go up, grab some squeegees, grab the shop vac, start going in the office, start basically getting all the water up. Uh, made a quick call to Dry Force, a company I actually knew about because I had a water leak at my house. Instantly called them, told them I needed them down at the shop. And uh, they said they'll be down here within 60 minutes. And uh, they actually just arrived. And uh, the shop's already looking better. So all my all my machinists, they're just, they got, they got squeegees, man. And they're just pushing all the water right outside the door. By the end of the day, it should be all dry. All right. Uh, one thing I want to say is like, this is a lesson learned. I always show crazy machining. I always show, you know, the best about manufacturing, right? But I also figure, you know, let's turn on the camera when we have a problem. Now you guys already know, you know, I'm, I'm all about being cool under pressure and uh, just taking care of business, right? You call the experts in, get you guys to work, you do what you can do under the circumstances and you make it happen. As a leader, I'm gonna actually back up, I'm gonna look at all of it, right? Make sure that we're doing absolutely everything in our power to solve that problem. And we're calling the experts, we're calling insurance. We don't want actually wanna deal with insurance because I don't think it's that big of a deal, but at the same time, we're just notifying them, right? And uh, then we're looking at the root cause. Just like if you had scrap parts coming from a customer, right? We're gonna look at the root cause, we're gonna double check everything, and we're gonna solve that problem. In this particular case, we basically had a hose barb, hose, a hose clamp, and the system didn't properly get turned off, right? We allowed the pressure to build up, and the hose popped off, and water spilled on the floor all night. Now our corrective action is very simple. Let's turn off the water at the proper location. Let's document it. Let's put a sign up there saying, hey, every time you use the DI water, turn off the system on the top end so we don't have any problems moving forward. Boom, within a few hours, the machines will be back running and we will be full bore, straight forward ahead. Let's go, baby. Texas 2021, solving problems.